Welcome to the world of Ultimate Frisbee. We've never heard about the Ultimate Frisbee before. Never. A friend of mine introduced me to it and I was like, Frisbee. And then I picked it up and I was like, oh. I played a lot of sports, eh? but this game just, just took me by surprise. And I just love Ultimate. It's just an awesome game, great spirited game. Ultimate Frisbee is a game that started in the late 1960s in America, very much the product of a hippie counterculture fusing traditional American sports like American football and basketball and turning it into something completely new and anti-establishment. So they took a Frisbee in place of a ball, they took the basic rules of basketball, put them onto an American football field and created a brand new game. Some major differences to traditional sports, the primary one being that at all levels of the game, there are no referees. The game is based entirely on the concept of spirit of the game, which requires the players themselves to enforce the rules. Essentially, you're looking to put the frisbee, or the disc as we call it, into the end zone, complete a pass, in the same way as you would score a touchdown in American football. There's seven players on the field at any point, and you play with rolling substitutions. There's a lot of running, it's a, it's a great physical game, a lot of diving, putting your body about, and a great blend of skills. It's a great game for, it's kind of something that anybody can play really. One of the elements of the, of the game, which is a feature of this tournament, is that you can play co-ed. You can have guys and girls on the same team. Hello, my name is Darren Holcomb. I play Frisbee for the Long Donkeys. I used to be a basketball player and basketball and Frisbee really have a lot in common. You know, in terms of the movement, in terms of the cutting into space, they are very, very similar. It was a group of friends getting together in a competitive sort of format and having fun together using either your speed or your heart, heart in our case, to, to win games. And really that's how we moved across. Well, basically in Frisbee you've got a number of throws. I'm just going to take you through a few basics. The, most common throw and the one you'll see the most out on the field is just the backhand and generally what you do is you establish a pivot foot which means that foot has to remain in contact with the ground and you try to keep your, the disc as parallel to the ground as possible. Step through, extend and release the disc. Hopefully you get a nice flat throw. The next throw I'm going to show you is the forehand and what's important about the forehand is with your backhand you obviously close down half the field because you've got to throw in a certain direction. The forehand allows you to see the field as open space, so you can throw across the field in any direction. Effectively what you're trying to do here is you get a gun shape, you're placing that gun inside with the thumb on the top, and again you're trying to keep the disc as parallel as possible to the ground, and you're flicking the wrist through. For the, for the weekend, we had a few cuts, okay? We had a few uh, where the, patient, the guys have to turn quickly. So in the turn, they had some knee uh, sprains, some ankle sprains, mm -hmm. whereby we just had to treat them for minor injuries, but nothing major came out of this event for the weekend. Ultimate in South Africa is affiliated to a, a greater global body, uh, which is part of the World Games Federation. We have a World Cup or World Championships once every four years. So next year we'll be sending a team to Japan to compete in the World Championships. So that, there, there is the opportunity to play internationally and on the, on the global stage. Look, the reason I love the sport, I love anything that's competitive. And in Frisbee, 
yes, there's the spirit of the game and you're all friends, but there is that competitive edge that you really are looking for. And ultimately, you, you get to go out in the field, have a lot of fun and compete for something, which means quite a lot to the guys who play. Um, so that's why I enjoy the, enjoy the frisbee. And yeah, that's why I think most of us keep coming back. There's that internal challenge amongst the teammates to see who the best player is. And effectively, there's that external challenge where you want to be the best in the country. So that's why we play. No, just frisbee is a great sport. And I think if you haven't tried it, get down to your nearest frisbee club and give it a go. It's worth the time and effort.